Hello Pilots and Ground Crew, welcome back to my channel again. Well, uh, if you saw the thumbnail I put the best on the market. Well, in my opinion, at the moment, this uh, emergency buzzer is the best uh, choice on the market at the moment. In, in my opinion, a lot of people will vary. Now we know them uh, VI fly buzzers are awesome, I've got a couple of them myself and the full speed ones, yeah great. But uh, this one's a little bit different to your average type of buzzer. Now, it's a little bit thinner for starters, but it's a little bit longer. So that, so like that, isn't really the balance, shall we say? But uh, is it louder than any of the other buzzers out on the market? Well, no, it's not. It's about average. It's about hundred decibels, right? Uh, it's roughly the same price of most buzzers out on the market now, between eight and twelve quid, depending on where you shop. You plug your cables in, it works the same way, right? Your battery gets ejected from your quad, right? After, I think it's 15 seconds, this buzzer starts blasting off, right? Will it last longer than most buzzers? No, some of the buzzers, that, that VI Fly, uh, I think lasts about uh, two days or something like that. Well, this will only last five minutes buzzing, but I still think it's about the best on the market. But yeah, so the battery gets ejected, it starts buzzing, you come along, you press and hold the little button, and there uh, the buzzer stops. You've seen them before, they've got a little built-in battery and stuff, and uh, yeah, you've seen them. But why do I think this is uh, one of the best, or if not the best at the moment? Well, it's because of a special little thing you get with it. And no, not a cable. Right, but well, it's to do with the cable. As you plug your cable in, I'll go through this because that is a downside. You don't get any instructions. Right, you have to figure stuff out yourself. But uh, yeah, you've got on this side, you've got your ground, which speaks for itself. Next to that, you've got your lav wire. All right, so you've got your ground in your lav. Right, brilliant. The yellow cable is your battery minus. Right, or your buzzer minus, whatever it says on your flight control board, okay? But then what, this is the part where I think this makes it special. You've got two extra cables coming out of here, right? And therefore, this, what's in here, right? Let me get it out. This is tiny, but uh, yeah, you get this with it. Let me just, so you can see it, because we've got black on black here. Put it on that little lollipop stick. Right. It's a tiny little button. Right. Just like the button you've got on there to turn your buzzer, buzzer off. Right. It's a tiny little button that you solder onto these two wires. Right. I'll put a quick picture up so you can see what I'm talking about. Right. But it's a tiny little button that you solder the black and the white cable to. Now, why is that impressive? Well, this is what sold it for me. Right? A lot of the time you've got these buzzers in your quads, right? And uh, basically, you crash, you go up, your buzzer's going off, and nine times out of ten you have to get your finger right underneath to get out the button or right through the sides and everything to get out the button to turn the bloody buzzer off. Or you have to plug in your battery again unplug your battery, count to about four or five or six or seven seconds, then plug it back in again, and then you'll miss a second, so you have to do it again and do it again if you can't get at the button. You all know what I'm talking about there, that can be frustrating. Right? So this idea with these two extra cables, right, with an external button, right, so you can have this buried right inside your quad, hidden away. Right, so you're never gonna in a big crash, mud's never gonna get inside the actual speaker, so you're always gonna hear the buzzer. Right, so you can have it buried underneath your flight control board if you want. Well, maybe not there, but you can have it buried in your quad with these two cables coming out with a little button. Now there's two little screw holes on here. I don't recommend screwing it down to your I'll put that back on there so you can see it better. I don't recommend screwing that down onto your uh your frame or out like that but uh, a little bit of hot glue or super glue and you can just stick it underneath the top plate you could have that just on well maybe not on the top but you could have it on the side right 
somewhere easy to get at and it's only the button because like I say you've got quite a long bit of cable here I, and that's why I think at the moment uh, excuse me <coughs> yeah coughing me up so that's why I think at the moment this is the best buzzer on the market right simply for that extra button right no other reason right like I said it's just as loud as most of them it's a little bit wider than most of them uh, longer I should say it's a lot thinner right so I do like that but uh, as an LED that'll flash right so there's nothing different than most of the other buzzers out there except for this and this is what sells it for me the external little button you have so when you come along and your buzzer's going off it's so easy to get at depending on where you mount it rather than trying to get your finger inside the quad and press that bloody button you know what I mean or plug in your battery unplug your battery plug in your battery unplug your battery anyway uh, links in the description and uh, I'll leave a bit more information in the description as well all right but uh, under £10 right, from banggood.com at the moment but you can pick them up all over they're on eBay and stuff well, I think one person selling it for about 40 quid on eBay I thought plonk it but yeah so just have a look about but I'll leave a link in the description like I said less than 10 quid at banggood.com and with this extra little uh, cable for the extra little button right awesome in my opinion absolutely awesome Okay then pilots and ground crew, I'll leave it there. Like I said, all the information in the description, which is down there. Just down there. Maybe down that side, but probably down that side. Okay, now I'm waffling. Thanks for watching and cheers.